Today I am sharing the Friendship Star. This is one of my absolute favorite blocks. I, from my very first days of quilting, I fell in love with pinwheels and the Friendship Star kind of has that pinwheel spinning feel to it. So it's a lot of fun. And since it's based on the traditional nine patch layout, it is very fun and very quick to sew even for beginner quilters. So I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel. Stay tuned to the end of the video where some of my quilting friends share their favorite blocks also. But you start with your two contrasting fabrics and the once I get all my pieces cut so you need your four half square triangles and you need your four background pieces and you need the center block for your star um, in this layout there are three different fabrics we've got the background the gray star points and then the center of the star is an alternate fabric for this pattern. So once I have all my pieces cut I like to lay out my block and the friendship star especially is one that can get turned around very easily. So the way I construct this is to think about uh, a pinwheel is the first uh, method that you can use for laying out this block. You position your first half square triangle and I put that in the top center of my block and then as a pinwheel spins you're gonna turn that half square triangle as you position it in the next place. So I take my original orientation and rotate my triangle. Take my beginning position and rotate my triangle. Beginning position, rotate one quarter turn, 90 degree rotation there as you spin around that center square. The other thing I like to think about when laying out the friendship star is that the opposite triangles, the opposite sides of the star form a parallelogram. So you have parallel lines on those top and bottom squares. So that helps if you get your blocks in the wrong orientation you can see oh that that parallel line is that line is extending too far I need to rotate and then you can see that square is off because it makes a straight line the, these lines should not connect here you have parallel lines here that's a different block if we have if we extended those lines there so we've got a parallelogram top and bottom, you've got a parallelogram left and right. So that keeps your friendship star spinning and shining brightly there in your quilt. So once you have your block laid out, it is a standard nine patch construction. I always uh, start with my right hand column sewn on top of my left so I'd be picking up this square and sewing it here. I'm going to sew these three patches together and then add the third row. And I lay out all my pieces since I'm making multiple blocks. That's what I'm reaching for over here to the side of my machine. Squares go right side together and I'm actually going to flip this unit so that I can see the seam from my half square triangle. Just helps keep everything lined up. 
I don't get anything turned around in those seams. And then my center row. My bottom row, I make sure those pieces are all lined up. I can I'm pressing to the solid square so that half square triangle unit was originally pressed to the dark and then to the outer square so if you had a lighter background that would change a little bit my chain piecing technique and again I want to check that I have those parallel lines as I'm sewing opposite sides together So I am going to finger press these rows. So I just use my fingernail there along that to make sure that seam lies flat. Those seams are pressed to the outside of that top row. That means my center row needs to press inward. Into the, so again, I made sure my parallel lines are there. I press those seams to the center of that square and then I'm going to pin and again I'm making sure my triangle is right side up I wouldn't want to sew the background square there I want to make sure that's in the right placement and I'm pinning along that seam intersection my fabrics are going in opposite directions so that seam nests together nice and smooth so that will help with the bulk so I've got the bottom seam going one direction the top seam going to the other and I have just pinned right on that seam line the top row so I will just add that to the bottom and again my seams are pressed in opposite directions pinning on those seam intersections and attaching the bottom row. I've talked about my leader ender scraps before just so I have something going under the needle and I don't have to, you know, pull that extra thread out of the bottom of my machine. OK, 
Okay, and then once I take, I'm getting rid of some threads there. There is a finished friendship star and you can see those star points. It's not gonna matter which way you get that star going. It's a symmetric block and my pointer was to look for those parallelograms there in your finished quilt. So this classic quilt block called the Friendship Star is one of my absolute favorite quilt blocks to make. Please leave a comment and let me know which of the classic quilt blocks you enjoy making the most. I've had fun sewing with you today. I hope you return to True Blue Quilts. Like and share this video with your quilting friends and I will see you soon. Have a great day. Pat Sloan is giving us a lesson on making a plus sign quilt block so you can find her video tutorial using the link in the description below and then check in with Simone to see her church window quilt block. Thanks so much for joining us.